Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so this is going to be a very chatty, catch up type of video. I want to switch out my washi tapes and make some new washi tape sample cards. I also have some playing cards that I purchased recently from the Hyakuen shop or the $1 store. And to be honest, I really want to play with them. I want to use them <laughs> as playing cards. They're just so cute. Uh, but at the same time, I want to yeah, wrap some washi tape. But look at these playing cards are so cute. <laughs> oh, look, it's Hello Kitty. Yeah. I should have bought two, eh? <laughs> One for myself to actually play with. Actually, my daughter would probably take over them. Um, but so, yeah. And so I want to kind of switch things up a bit and uh, refill, refill in a way, um, some of these washi tapes. I have taken out my washi tape collection here. Um, I will post the I will leave the video post below where I finished pretty much the whole container and it was all like uh, empties and I would you know make these washi tape kind of sample cards and um, give them away to orders and things but yeah I really want to switch things up because I've been using the same ones over and over again for months now and I really want to ch change it up a bit. And some of these are really old, like, gosh, probably over like six years, maybe six, seven years. I want to do that. And if I have time, I want to catch up in the Hobonichi. I've took, taken out some stamps that I want to use. Oh, I took this out here because I want, do you remember I was talking about my knitting journal and how I want a knitting journal and like a separate journal insert for needing inspiration so I have decided to do that I haven't strung these through the elastic here but I'm going to be housing it in my very first traveler's notebook and I have stamped whenever I go to the traveler's factory I stamp it um, well I haven't done it recently but I do stamp my traveler's notebooks. Sometimes I'll stamp it on the inside. There. But yeah, so I think I took this out and I wanted to because I'm working on a hat now and I wanted to put this in here so I don't forget. And so this is what I'm going to use for my knitting journal. Journals, maybe knitting journals. Um, yeah, this is been with me from the beginning this uh, notebook cover and the stamp has faded quite a bit but it's it's so it brings me lots and lots of uh, lovely memories so there's that one and yeah I want I want to to uh, if I have time kind of catch up in the Hobonichi as well there's a lot of um, drawings and things that I haven't really painted in and I wanted to sit down and catch up on those ones. It's not, this is going to be probably a longer chattier video. I know I mentioned that I want to make shorter, like just sit down 10, 15 minutes and journal. So maybe I will split that up. Uh, but let's, yeah, let's sit down and chat about, oh yeah, I have the fountain pens in, in here. My mind's all over the place. The fountain pens that I want wanted to journal about are in, so maybe I will do a shorter video for that one. Now I can't find the page, of course. <laughs> All right, so let's get on with just wrapping up some washi tape and changing things up. This one I have very little of, so I think I'm just going to roll it out onto, oops, I'm going to roll it out. I ripped up some here by mistake, so let's just quickly find a spot and quickly find a spot and tip that in
So there's only a little bit left and I think I'm just going to roll it onto these. I've mentioned this in the past. These are like the things that you use for gardening just to write the name of the plants and like if you were to plant some vegetables uh, you would stick these in <laughs> into the dirt and someone uh, mentioned old gift cards of course would be a wonderful idea to use gift cards and maybe old credit cards or cards in general like shop cards that are no longer valid you could definitely use to wrap your washi tape and have them on the go instead of you know carrying big rolls just having them on these little portable sticks uh, is very handy and I recommend not taking out too much like not rolling out too much because it'll take forever to finish so there's one and let's roll out something from this box here this is the La Dolce Vita. Let me find the end. Yeah, if if I roll too much, there's going to be too much washi on the stick, and then I get tired of the certain washi tape, and then um, I'd rather just roll out a little bit and then finish up the sample on here, and then keep rotating, rotating. I think is the best way to go. I'm not really counting. I'm just doing a randomly rolling them out I'm guessing that you kind of want to see what's going on here I think these ones I want to put back mm, so I just did that one that one is finished I used to do them in like color families, and, but yeah, now it's just very random. And um, oh, there's some Mickey Mouse ones I really want to use. I think I want to take out that bright yellow. I think it'll be fun. Oh, you know what? While I have this one out, this is by Ours Studio. I think I want to. This is not washi tape, it's um, like a PET tape, so the backing is not sticky until you remove the film. And I really like the drawings and the watercolor, like the doodles are very, very, well, I shouldn't say doodles, they're drawings, they're very beautiful, it's very beautiful artwork. I've used this for many years now, and yeah. Very, very pretty. So let's find a spot that kind of, oh, that works, howdy. And you just, for those that don't know the, those that don't know how that works, you just peel off the back film, this clear film, and then this part is sticky like that. So it's not really a washi tape. It's called a PET tape. And so let's stick that one right there. Perfect. Okay, let me sit down and roll out some more. I think I want to cut out some of these just so that I have on hand. And I'll cut them in nice smaller sizes. So it will be easier for me to carry. There's a nice long pencil there. <laughs> I think it would be fun to act as a border. I think it would be a lot of fun. There's some washi tape. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, fun little designs on this tape. And there's just, there's the ro one rotation there. We're back to here. I think I've, I've used that somewhere else. So there's that. So let's find some more washi tape to roll out onto these cards. 
Um, this one here. It's a bit wider one. It's so warm today. Um, it's February and it's it's just in during the daytime it's gonna probably go up to 10 or even more it's very warm and I did finish one of the sweaters not fully finished I haven't finished the cuff yet um, it's blocking right now but it's taking forever to dry I don't know the shawl that I finished knitting up I I washed it or I guess you would say blocked it and yeah it d dried up pretty quickly within like overnight it was dry the next morning but the sweater is taking a long time uh, to dry up I guess because the fabric is more dense and takes up more time okay and then do this green one this one I have had a long time as well definitely over five years I want to say it's at that time where my kids would take everything out um, from bookshelves and everything like they would pull things out um, I had a little rack with the washi tape like a drawer with the washi tape so they would open up the drawers pull out the washi tapes and like roll them on the floor <laughs> And they would use the washi tapes to kind of stack them up like blocks. <laughs> uh, those were the days. <laughs> they don't do that anymore, of course, but they definitely still... My daughter really likes washi tape and she uses them to decorate her letters. She writes letters to her friends and things. And here it's a little... Um, there's just a little bit more space. I don't know if we'll map if it's enough no it's not enough space for the standard i think it's one and a half is the standard so i'm going to have to choose a thinner one a thinner washi tape to wrap there's that this one here it's like a pastel pink powder pink and blue stripe These are these smaller, like thinner ones, are really nice for, like, just kind of breaking up a page, or if you need to add a border to something, or if you f if you find that you're using one page and you have various different stories going on, it's nice to use these like thinner ones to kind of break things up. They're good for planning too, I think. Let's see if there's a spot where I can show you what I mean by that. Uh, like for here, you could probably add that washi tape and where did it go? Here, you can add that washi tape and then here you can add, uh, you, I'm not sure if I actually talked about the mini ring, so maybe I will write about the mini ring or I could add a draw, drawing or uh, maybe a quote just break up the page that way something like here would be nice all right so here's another washi tape that I want to kind of use as well it has like a nice collage element to it with various different colors and let me bring it up close so that you can see yeah it has various uh, colors and kind of textures to the washi tape it's a lot of fun I use a lot of these types of washi tape for my junk journaling spreads um, especially with this colorway with the vintage colors and the backgrounds and it really blends uh, nicely into the journal spread most of the time and yeah these collage type of um, washi tapes are really come in handy I, I gravitate towards them often all right and I probably have one more maybe like a thicker one 
I have a hard time using up these like limited edition ones. This is the one from pa the Pan Am series from Traveler's Company. Uh, let's see, thicker one here. Maybe this will fit. Yes. Hi, it's Voice Over Mitts. I am here editing this video and I've realized the remainder of this video is blurry and it's not very clear and I understand it might be a bit annoying to watch uh, so I'm just giving you the heads up it starts to become clear again but it's only like the last minute or so so I'm very very sorry I am not able to refilm this part but I'm just giving you the heads up thank you so much and I used to oh, a long time ago if you see my videos from long time ago there's a uh, washi tape that has images like this and you can cut them out like fussy cut them and use them on uh, journaling spreads these uh, washi tapes are very handy same with a the bow these probably are like pretty old <laughs> these ones are pretty old I did that with a bow often as well and there was a point in time where I would fussy cut them and then just put them on some like tracing pa uh, not tracing paper baking sheet and so that I would have them kind of all ready to go. They're basically like stickers, washi tape stickers, and I could just peel them off from the baking sheet and use them in my journal spreads. So if you're not um, too much into stickers, but you love your washi tape, um, if you have these types of washi tape, they would act both as a sticker <laughs> and washi tape as well. I use this often for my junk journal spreads too, like it has that nice, very light, uh, soft brown color, it's not too harsh, it's kind of like milk chocolate. I took this one out saying that I'm going to use it, but <laughs> I didn't end up wrapping it out. Let's quickly use it for maybe something in the knitting journal, if there's something I can stick in really quickly. There is a place where I can add a tip in somewhere. This one keeps falling up. I'm trying to see if there's a place. Oh, well, maybe here because this one is coming up a bit. I'll just place some washi tape here on the bottom. Maybe even here it would be a nice, very bright uh, split from the page. I'll just add some tape here on the back as a reinforcement. Oh, that's so pretty, eh? Oh, that's really nice yellow. And I'll just, I just added some here as well, just to break things up a bit. That's a really, it's, it seems very yellow, yellow, but when you put it on the paper, it's a nice fluorescent color. Yeah, I really want to catch up with this journal to I have so much fun looking at it <laughs> I find myself um, kind of flipping through and I printed some photos out that are uh, projects that I really want to work on I haven't found any good like um, patterns for summer but anyways that's a whole nother topic so there's that um, I'm still hesitant to wrap the washi tape onto these cards because they're so cute. I'm going to try and visit the 100 yen shop again and see if I can find a duplicate one. And then if I can, then I think I will um, roll out the washi tape onto these cards. But these are too cute to use for washi tape at this time. I did notice that I have a bunch of cards here, so I'm going to take one and do a couple more while I have you here. Not sure what these are from, maybe it's just from packaging, um, but I'm going to roll out some more. I'm curious to know how you store your washi tapes and um, do you also roll them out onto cards to for like easy transport? So 
So let's choose a couple more. Let's get some. These ones I love using these big ones from Robert Morris and the MT brand. It's like a collab. Uh, but I don't roll them out on here. I'll just directly take them out from from the box here and I'll use it that that way. I oops. I'm sorry these a lot of these washi tapes are quite old so I don't remember I probably don't really yeah if you ask me what what name or what brand or where is it from I probably won't know unless it has something written in the inside so for example these ones are Robert Morris MT it's a collaboration with MT brand uh, washi tape there's also one from round top that I just used here um, I think this one in particular might be a not classic -y, what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> it's gonna come to mind while I roll this out but yeah like for example this one I don't remember at all like there's no name inside um, Shamil Garden sorry yeah the round top and Shamil Garden one I think this is also empty this is peppercorn arts uh, this is la dolce vita these bigger ones with the designs are also empty there's a lot of empty in in here uh, i find that their washi tapes last a long time and what i mean by last a long time like i uh, as you know these have been in my stash for these have been in my stash for years and years but yeah it's still fine there's no like sometimes the glue will stick onto itself and then it'll get clumped up and uh, it'll be difficult to remove but yeah it's totally okay or maybe because I store them in like a dry spot like uh, um, not dry it gets really humid in the summer but in a in a dark spot um, in the corner here under the table so <laughs> that might be a reason why it's uh, like longer lasting I'm not sure but yeah, I usually store them away in this plastic container and under the table where it's uh, darker. And prior to here, before moving, I had them in the drawer. So they weren't really in direct sunlight or anything like that. This is a very simple stripe. And this again is from MT. You can see it's very smooth and even though I've had this one for years, it's very smooth as well. Sometimes I just want like a nice dark black uh, design, like a simple black designed tape to switch things up. Like maybe for example if the page spread is quite bright and it has a lot going on, um, the nice dark black uh, breaks things up a bit. I think this is also Round Top and Shamil Garden. Or it might be somebody else. I, I feel bad if I make a mistake because I feel like these drawings or these illustrations might be somebody else's, um, not Shamil Garden, but like a different designer. So maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm not sure if it's Shamil Garden. I think this one is Shamil Garden, but maybe this one might be... Oh gosh, if I, if I know, then I will uh, leave a post down below. Uh, let's see if there's another big one that I can use. Oh no, that's too big. All right. This one, I really like this one. I've been using for quite some time and I use it sparingly because I it's almost finished, as you can see. This is London Gifties washi tape.
Back in the day, my friends and I would、uh, visit various Tokyo cafes and we would have like journaling sessions, and these washi tape、uh, cards were very handy. I would slide, especially like the business size, like business card sized ones, I could slide into the pockets.、Uh, before, I was using like the Hobonichi covers, you know how they have like the pockets on the sides? Like you can stick, this one is too wide, but like the business card size ones you can stick on the edge and you can have a whole bunch, like a whole slew of washi tapes to bring with you. There were times where we would. Carry the stamps and washi tapes in containers like, thing, like this and bring that as well. But yeah, we haven't done that in quite some time. Okay, so there's that. I'm not sure if I have enough time to do another one. It's probably good. I think I have this one. I rolled out, but I haven't really used. So I'm going to keep that one out. I'm gonna leave it here for now. I have these nice、uh, four different cards with various washi tapes, and I hope you can do something similar.、Uh, even if you don't have these cards, I've just you know, cut out some small strips from your maybe empty Kleenex boxes. I've done that in the past. Just pa simple packaging that you find.、Uh, for example, maybe something like this. You finish using all the papers and you have something like this left, you can definitely cut that into smaller strips.、Uh, playing cards, like I mentioned before, or I've shown before. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and find a duplicate one so that I can keep one for actually as playing cards and then one for washi tapes. I hope you enjoyed this kind of relaxing session.、Um, I'm gonna do a, another video, I'm gonna keep it separate and do like a shorter. Maybe 15 minute session just catching up in my hobbyich. Okay, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.